from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. Shea Ryan has your full weather forecast coming up. But first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. The state has confirmed nearly 4,300 new COVID-19 cases. Some good news, though, the number of new coronavirus hospitalizations seems to have plateaued in our state. We've been tracking this data since mid-March. This past week, there were just over 1,100 new hospitalizations in Florida. That's about what the weekly total has been for the last six weeks. Those numbers are far lower than the peak we saw this summer. Governor DeSantis says he's working with the White House to get cruise ships sailing again. The CDC's no sail order is set to expire at the end of the month. However, several cruise lines have said they're going to delay welcoming back passengers longer to keep them safe. The governor spoke about the cruise industry's impact on Florida's economy. But that's an important engine uh, for our state. I mean, we have thousands and thousands of people uh, who work, and it's not just working directly for a cruise ship. Uh, it has all kinds of impacts uh, throughout different parts of, of Florida. That includes Port Tampa Bay and the surrounding businesses that benefit from cruise ship tourists. The governor suggested rapid tests could help make travelers feel more comfortable about returning to sea. Sad morning for Rays fans. Last night, the Dodgers beat the Rays to win the World Series. The team posted a photo on Twitter last night saying, even though we couldn't be together this year, we felt your passion. Thank you. The Rays hadn't reached the World Series since 2008. A project nearly a decade in the making is finally underway. Work to overhaul the St. Pete Beach sewage system got underway yesterday on Gulf Winds Drive. By late spring, construction will move to Gulf Boulevard. Once the fix is complete, it will allow for new construction in the city. Tampa Housing Authority is celebrating the Mary Bethune Apartments today after a full renovation. The eight-story apartment building was once bound to be demolished. It will provide affordable housing for seniors. And today at 10, the mayor will help celebrate the opening of it. Now here's Shay Ryan with your forecast. Well, today is looking a lot like the last couple of days. We're going to have a good amount of sunshine and a lot of heat. We're flirting with record highs again today. We're looking at a forecast high of 91 degrees, which is also the record high for today. So again, low chances for rain throughout the day. If we do see anything develop, it'll be later in the afternoon and into the evening, and it would just be a brief shower. So we're looking at best about 20% coverage. Uh, so again, we are looking at a pretty dry day ahead. Lots of humidity, so it's going to be hot and steamy through the afternoon. We're going to get more of the same tomorrow, and then the frontal system is going to move through very early on Friday, giving us a chance for rain, mainly before sunrise, and then the drier air is going to work its way in after that.